Internet access is no longer a luxury, it's a necessity. The federal government is providing big dollars to close the digital divide, but where that money goes will depend in large part on you. Dennis Owens is here to explain that one. Hey, Dennis. Hey, Alicia. This is the recently released FCC National Broadband Map, as you can see, which tells at a home-by-home -home or business-by-business -business level which areas have good high-speed internet and which don't. In this map, I plugged in our studios, 3235 Hoffman Street. You see it there in blue. It says that uh, the homes around us and we're good to go. They're all green. But what if the map says you're good and you know that's wrong? You can help make it right. You just don't have much time to do it. The Northern York Regional Police Department sits in a picturesque valley. It's pretty and pretty unreliable. The lack of wireless communications and internet access is not limited to this valley, but it repeats itself again and again throughout this part of York County. Chief Dave Lash says it hindered a recent search and rescue operation when first responders couldn't talk to each other. We need constant and consistent wireless connectivity during major events to protect public safety. The federal government wants to help and has allocated $42 billion to ensure every American has reliable and affordable high-speed internet. Dollars that I didn't vote for, but dollars that I am now entrusted to be the guardian of and making sure that they're efficiently and effectively driven out to actually close the digital divide. So who gets the money? The FCC created this map with every address on it, denoting whether the area is served or not. Served areas won't get funding, unserved will, but... It inaccurately reports some areas as being served with high-speed internet when they are in fact not. You need to speak up. You need to check out that map. Officials are asking that you go to the online map, plug in your address, and make sure your home is accurately represented by the FCC. If not, speak up and challenge the map's conclusions. It's not lost on me that we are asking people who don't have access to internet to visit a website to see if they have internet, right? That's crazy. Almost as crazy as a police department unable to talk to fellow first responders and the national broadband map suggesting it has 100% coverage. The maps are wrong. We need your help to correct them. Uh, please help us help you and have your voices be heard. Now, if there's an error in the mapping, the FCC does want to hear from you, uh, but it isn't giving you a lot of time to challenge. The deadline is in less than a month, January 13th. We have a link to all the information on our website, abc27.com. Good info there, Dennis. Thank you very much.